Hello, everybody, and welcome to Baka Talk, the podcast where we talk about anime, manga, and stupid stuff on the internet. Um, I'm Sir Boom, and I'm joined by my co-host, like always, Pyrolis. Hello, everyone. And yeah, so, Pyrolis. Yes. How you been this week? I've been doing all right. I work, well, we got snow now, so it's a snow desert out there, so that's been okay, I think that's I Tundra. Oh, that's a snow desert out there. Snow desert? That's a snow desert. I'd have to disagree. I'm pretty sure it's Tundra. No, especially in the blizzard, you put on your little Ushanka, you get on your mitts, your hat, and you're like, all right, I'm out to the snow desert. I'll see you in a few years. I might have some milk. I might not. We'll find out. Hopefully, you haven't eaten each other due to cannibalism. What? That's not what your family was like? No, that's not what my family was like. Well, that's how I, I, I grew up, basically. Ah, uh, I see. In the middle of nowhere, you know, you're dad goes out for a few months at a time to get food and wood as you just sit there huddled up uh, as you're trying to not eat each other hoping that the fat from the last kill lasts you so you're saying you grew up in siberia man you can you can you can say wherever you want about me growing up i'm not saying you grew up in north africa do they have snow in north africa no no. no. It's really hot in North Africa. Really? There's deserts. There's actual deserts in North Africa. That's huh. where Egypt is. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. I feel like there's snow in the mountains. Maybe. Right? South Africa. In South Africa? Yeah. That will make no fr- freaking sense. How? South, hot. North, cold. No, because you know, the further you get away from the equator is when it gets cold. Oh, so it's flipped for that part of the world. Yeah. Uh, okay. So like when you're in the middle of the world, it's hot all the time. But once you start going towards one of the poles, that's when it starts getting cold. Because of the fact that the sun is always beating down on the equator. Because right. we rotate on the axis. Yeah, yeah. Hence why the flat earth does not exist. This is why I basically failed school geography. No, that's all right. This is another reason that pr- that proves that flat earth doesn't exist. Because if it did exist... The sun wouldn't focus on a certain axis, and we just die of heat stroke. Yes. Like, tiny nuclear lasers hitting us all the time. Yeah. Because that's what the sun is. And it's terrifying, yet freaking cool at the same time. Yeah, I love the sun. We it just, is. It's awesome. We just keep it powered by our trash. We, I'm sure we produce enough. We could do that. Or we'd feed it too much trash and it explode. I'm okay either way. Oof. And if it explodes, you're not going to realize that you're just going to be gone. So you're okay with the destiny of humanity either other way? Yeah, Makes pretty sense. much. Makes sense. I mean, we, we still have witch trials that I thought that we forego back in the 1600s. So, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty all right with it. Wait, where are we having witch trials? I mean, it's not as bad as it was then. But, like, you know, the great emperor of Xing Jinping still has it, which you might have to call this part out. But they still have, like, witch trials basically over there. Oh, Okay. I didn't know It's just that. for Christians instead of witches. Oh. And then, like, you know, internet in general, they're, you know, gaslighting people for doing something stupid, which is basically a witch hunt in itself. Okay, sure. It's Anyways, on a brighter death. subject, on a much brighter subject, uh, <laughs> you, you're in a snow desert. You were in a snow desert right now. Did you do anything else cool? We've been um, playing Minecraft a lot. We have been playing That's Minecraft fun. a lot. We've been doing that a lot. Killed a few dragons, stage five dragons, and got got an egg. You killed dragons. I watched. Yeah, I got the executioner and proceeded to lay down some heavy fire into the mouth of dragons as they're breathing fire at me, wondering why my armor is for some reason fireproof. I seriously thought you were going to die before I knew your armor was fireproof because I saw you just standing there and the dragon was just lighting everything within like a 10 mile radius on fire around you. And like... You were just standing there, and I'm watching from the top of this tree, which is currently being lit on fire. I'm like, huh, we're all going to die. And then so you just, like, shoot two bullets at the stupid dragon. It just, like, flops on the ground dead. I couldn't. I We went to J. Diddy's home, and I was like, where's this dragon at? And I saw the path of carnage and destruction. I was like, oh, it's probably that way. So I started following it, and then I'm like, where? oh, there it is. And it's, like, in the sky distance. So I'm like, all right time to get out the javelin and uh this is where i realized that all rocket propelled things in flans mod suck (laughs) they can't aim at all you're right in the javelin the stingers are expensive yep i spent a lot of gunpowder iron gold and uh 
sorry, redstone dust on them. Dang. So and that's I, a lot of crap. I paid for four of them. Right side, they can one hit a dragon. Downside, that's if you can hit it. Right, that makes sense. So uh, basically, I've, I've just turned into if I have it, it's gonna be a no scope thing. Three sixty no scope yeah. dragon. Let's go. I actually did that when one uh, killed moderator. I was looking for. I was like, where is it at? All of a sudden, you hear noise. I'm like, whip around. It's right there. Like, All right, it's dead. Well, I mean, when the dragon's like as big as a freaking building, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Unless you're like unless 10 it's blocks flying, away. yeah. But you know where he killed that dragon? Yeah. I kid you not, I led that dragon that way. It was right over um my brother's house. My mm -hmm. brother's house, J Wolf. And like I grabbed my stuff because I had already died there once. And yeah. I was just running straight towards the ocean. Cause I was like, oh, if I get in the old ocean and get in my boat, I can just like float away. Yeah, no. Row away. No. As soon as I got in the pond. He just lit the whole lake on fire. Like it was oil. <laughs> yup. I was like, what the frick is going on? And up, I saw it come down, then I was like, okay, so now it's going to fight me. And instead, it ignored me <laughs> and went for you and Jay yeah. Diddy. I'm like, you have the audacity to ignore me? And I just laid it up. Literally, you were a fully armored person with guns. And me and him had nothing because he had the dragon had already taken all of our stuff. Yeah. We're just sitting on this tree, basically butt naked. You're sitting there in the middle of the open, and the dragon comes for us. It's yeah. stupid. So I whipped out my shotgun, load up those incendiary rounds. Like, who's on fire now? Who's on fire now? Uh, that was like the most fun I've ever had in Minecraft. And I killed it. I killed the son of a gun. You did. In like two shots, it seemed like. No, it was more than that. Was it? Yeah, it was like five, wow. six. Still. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. I guess. I mean, in the long run of things not really but but it's at least six gunpowder six iron and then six um fiberglass which fiberglass Dang. is hard to make and right now gunpowder is hard to achieve but since we opened the uh dimension to the cthulhu realm it might be a bit easier depending on if i can find what i need yeah makes sense well that was a fun thing that we did over the weekend uh do we have any anime news well uh i, I already Ari Furuta, I discovered, is getting its second season out sometime this month, actually. Nice. So I just finished that anime, and it was based off of... Like I was telling you earlier, I actually read the novel quite a bit, like a few years back. And the first Comic-Con we went to, I dressed up as the main character, Hajime Nagumo. Yeah. Before the anime was released, and no one knew who I was. Oh, except for me. yeah. I had the hair, I had the eye patch, and I had the trench coat. However, I didn't have much money back then. so I also had the combat boots, but I didn't have the... um fake arm because his he lost his arm oh, okay so he ended up having yeah. to get like a metal one like he made himself an arm with transmute like full metal alchemist i guess kind of yeah so i mean that's what full metal alchemist basically did then he proceeded to make himself guns and rocket oh. launchers and okay. stuff like that full auto full metal alchemist did not do that whatsoever and i made a lot of guns um are you looking up right now nope oh. i'm looking up something completely different all right oh anime news okay the Anime News Network. Anime news when you need it. Anime news now. What? Breaking news, apparently. <laughs> nice. U.S. Secretary of State's 2021 Spotify playlist includes Demon Slayer's Kimitsu no, no Aiba movie theme in it. Nice. You can, U.S. Secretary of State and Tony... Blinken revealed himself as a fan of Lisa when he published a list of favorite song recent songs on Spotify last Friday. The Secretary's 2021 playlist on the road playlist represents 36 songs that were released either in 2021 or recent, recently by artists around the world. Notable for fans, anime fans, it includes Lisa's Homaru song, the theme song for the Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, the movie, Mugen Train anime film. Huh. Well, We've done it. The weebs have made office. You know what? I will bet you a thousand dollars that this was curated. Like 100% curated. Probably. There's no way that this guy. Well. No, he couldn't. I don't like no, his I don't. I don't think. I don't Actually, think he no. Could... He looks like a kid toucher. He could be a weeb. Whoa. Wait a second. What are you implying? That they're all lollicons. Uh. Listen, if the anime um, that I just finished a bit ago, last week, um, 
I forget what it's called already. Uh, Kashigoto. If in Kashigoto, if they can say themselves that every single mangaka is a lolicon, sure. then I can say that every single weep is, by proxy, a lolicon. Okay. You can say whatever you want to say. It's the internet, I guess. I don't like Anyways, how his lips look. That's interesting. I didn't see that before. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I guess. That's I don't cool. know Having why. Someone that... in Senate like that, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We got AMC Network acquires Sentai, Sentai Holdings, Film Holdings Works. Sentai Filmworks <laughs> High Dive. I bet they just have hentai. If they don't, I'd be disappointed by the A uh, high dive <laughs> is actually all uncensored anime. <laughs> that's their that's their biggest thing. Like they do domestic girlfriend yeah. uncensored. They do uh sensei, what are you doing here? Yeah. Uh they do well they did redo of healer. Yeah. They did uh I think they did Isekai reviewers. Okay. Interspecies reviewers. I think. But they're known for like uncensoring really etchy anime. That's good. Um I believe DXD nice. is also a high dive thing. But AMC has acquired them. Nice. So now Sony cannot have his have their Triforce no of more censoring. anime. Wait, AMC bought them? Yes. Mm. Which means that Sony has no rights to them, which means they will probably be taken off of the streaming service Verve. Because High Dive replaced Funimation on Verve. After Funimation was acquired by Sony. I just don't know how I feel about the people who made The Walking Dead and Teen Blood. How, True. I don't know how I feel about them now owning I feel like an AMC has studio. to do a lot more than just... You know why they acquired them? Why? Because they want it for AMC+, Plus, which is their own streaming service like HBO+. Plus. As long as they don't touch the anime and they don't mess with like they just let them they do probably what doing. won't they probably won't but i think amc has always been known for like their darker grittier shows like walking dead yeah and that's stuff. what i mean like but I don't know, i'm not too impressed by it i don't know a lot of their stuff don't, i'm not too impressed by it so i just hope that whatever they do there they don't try to bring over to that all right so amc's network interim ceo matt blank what is up with these names lately <laughs> matt but blank you're used to asian and japanese names i have to I guess l- I listen to white man name this accus- accusation uh say this word for me pyros acquisition acquisition builds on amc network already strong ip and franchises and further are and furthers our targeted stream strategy of super serving passion audience with content depth creation and community with the addition of sentai we can see an even greater opportunity to build an amc network position as a global leader in targeted streaming as we continue to grow our sustainable and long-term profitable streaming business that will be transformational for our company meaning they are not making any money on tv anymore yeah they're not i still love how sentai uncensored anime shows isn't that great i just love the name sentai sentai is actually like really nice to say it's like a mixture of senpai and hentai yeah i like it i like it I really do. All right, so that's interesting. What else we got? Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. I'm naming my first kid Sentai. All right. Netflix releases translator notes for Kami Can't Communicate. See, this has to do. The Netflix anime YouTube account releases a translator's note video last Thursday explaining the Japanese language puns for the following characters named names featured in the Kami Can't Communicate anime. Shoko Kami... Hitoi Tarano, Agari Yuino, Ren Yamai, and Najima Osana, and Makara Yatano. You're going to have to put a warning in about your extreme bed translation. You know what? They should be used to it after 65 (laughs) episodes. That's fair, but I think you might still have to do it. I probably will. You know what? I'll say it right now, and I just, whatever. I'm sorry for my translation. There you go. Because I am dyslexic and I'm trying to read English, which sucks. Yeah, that's fair. Anyways, to make a really un- unfun article to read, really short. Uh, Kami Kit Communicate has a lot of word puns in it. And they released a translator's note to make it 
the translator's note was basically to make it make more sense to people in the Americas in English-speaking countries. In other news, um, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon and get a season uh, three? Nice. Or four. That's Either cool. Season three or four. I can't believe that's already already got like three seasons. Yeah, I like it. It's, I hear it's really good. It is. I recommend it. It's another one I watched based off on an abridge. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right, anything else cool for news that we can see? Yeah, so I'm scrolling through now. Um, I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. TV anime gets a second season. I, I know that was it. a really popular one it for 2021. It's really kind of like that cl- classic isekai, but yeah. it's got that spin of the girl doesn't really want to do anything but just, like, farm. Yeah. So that's what she does. Uh, did you... Jujutsu Kaisen Zero anime film earns 5.87 billion yen in 11 days. Which is more than the Evangelion 3.1 plus 1.1 film that was released earlier that year. Uh, Let's see. Anything else really quick that we can look at? Um... Apparently, Nothing. Demon Slayer gets a uh, stage ad- play adaption. I see that. Demon Slayer gets Mugen Train stage play ad- adaptation. So basically, it's getting an adaptation. And what I've heard before is that the stage play adaptation of Demon Slayer has been really popular in places like Japan. Yeah. So do, that's cool. They do a lot of stage plays. It's like basically their version of Broadway. Have you seen the Attack on Titan stage plays? I have Those heard. things are weird. <laughs> Honestly, I think any stage play revolving around any anime is going to be weird. Except for, like, Lucky Star. I could see, like, a stage play of Erased being really good. Yeah, they, there actually has been. That's actually why the Erased manga was made. Is it? Yeah, because okay. the guy really liked the story. I, it's either... I want to say either the stage play or the show. He watched one of them. One of them came first and he watched one of them. He's like, yeah, this is not going to be my passion project. That's why it was also short. Oh, nice. Why, when it should have been, like, 24 episodes instead it was 12. That's really cool. That's also why it was really good. It was a passion project. Oh, and then to go with the stage play theme, My Hero Academia's new stage play run play runs in three cities in April and May. So they're getting three more cities. I'm guessing they are in Japan. I can look this up really quick. And while he's doing that, I'm also just as a quick note, Betty White did pass away. The reason why she's in anime news is because she did um, play a role in Ponyo. Really? Yes. And Ponyo was honestly th- remembering, that was like my first anime I watched because as a kid, you know, it's a, yeah. I thought it was a kid's cartoon yeah, exactly. when it wasn't, but it was like my first anime I ever watched. And I still like Ponyo to this day. Ponyo was pretty amazing. You know, she, plays, she played the, obviously the old grandma at the end of it uh, in Ponyo. So obviously for the English dub, right? Yeah. I, okay. English. No, she did the Japanese dub too. I mean, you don't know. No, this lady lived for almost 100 years. That's fair. Very easily could have learned J- Japanese I if think, she wanted to. I think it's very much like her to pass away right before she hits 100. Like, they were just talking about her about you to know, hit 100. Yeah. And then, like, with her comedy, I think, I think it's like, man, did she, like, think it's my time to go now before I hit 100? Hurry, they're talking Betty about Betty White it. was really about that, like, frick you comedy. Yeah. Like, always, even since, like, the Golden Girls, like, TV show. It's always like, frick you. I don't care what you think. So I could see that. I could see her being in the afterlife just laughing her butt off right now because it's just like, ha ha, whatever. I got away before I hit 100. Take that, you old geezers. Yeah, right. Well, I think that pretty much, that's about the biggest news I saw. There's a bunch of anime coming out where in between seasonal animes, so. Yeah. Uh. I course Attack on Titans coming out, Chainsaw Man's coming out really soon, as well as a couple anime are getting second seasons and third seasons, like you said. Yeah. Um Rise of the Shield Hero should be coming out very soon, if I remember right. Because I know it was postponed until February, I think. Okay. So that should be interesting. Then there's um, Bungo Stray Dogs is getting one, and then same that's with... season four, right? Yeah, we're getting season, season four. four. Are they close to the end of the story? You think? 
I'm not sure. Honestly, that Bungle Stray Dogs was one I haven't read the manga yet. Okay. So I was playing on it, seeing if I couldn't catch up and yeah. see what they missed. Um, on the high school's also getting the season five still being worked on. I'm not sure what the release date is on that. But could be a while. Yeah. Because I hear they've been amping up like their quality for um, DXD. I hope so. Because like the quality, I love the quality until season four. Season yeah. four, the quality felt like it dropped a lot, and that was the biggest complaint about it. Yeah. Because have you seen them side by side? I think you showed me a comparison once, and it was pretty noticeable. Yeah. Just for, like, the depth of like depth of detail and stuff and everything. It went from a good detailed anime to a basic hentai. Yeah, which kind of sucks. It did. Because my favorite part of high school is the detail, especially during the battle scenes. Like, I feel like I could find actual basic hentai with a better storyline d- than DXD. I mean, maybe of season four, or at least art-wise. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I meant. The that's story's still good. I still really like the story. Uh, that's kind of the story I just kind of grew up with. That was my first light novel. Yeah. But um, in general, the art for season four, I did not like. Did not like at all. No? I mean, you got it used to after episode two, but you would still feel like this isn't right. Oh, yeah. But hopefully they go back to the original style. The reason why the style changed, actually, was because the different a different studio picked it up. Oh, okay. Because... Yeah. Uh, Basically, what happened was, <laughs> you're gonna enjoy this one. After season three, the uh, head, the voice actor for Issei Hyoto in Japan was arrested for groping on a train. <sighs> so, <laughs> that makes way too much sense. So, yeah, the studio dropped it because of legal issues. So, you were saying he was playing himself. He was playing himself. Oh my gosh. Issei was being Issei on the train. Except he got caught and he Besides didn't have his he dragon. Didn't, he didn't have anime harem rules on his side this time. Yeah, he didn't have harem anime rules. So he Dang. got sent to prison. I'm not sure if he's out or not because I don't follow the... I haven't watched English dubbed. I have no idea what Japan's law sentencing I don't know is like either. either. So like, is groping like a multi-year offense or is it... I feel like in America, groping is sometimes like a misdemeanor, well, <laughs> depending like on what it is. A certain amount of times, I think it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've countries. heard people, uh, I've heard that people like that rob banks have yeah. gotten like just community service before. Yeah, that's fair. And that's like a malicious crime. Yeah, that's fair. It's almost, that's bordering acts of terrorism. Yeah. Um, so like, I don't know like what, I don't even know what America's like law system would do for a groper i'm guessing we should probably learn (laughs) uh i don't have to worry about it because i keep my hands myself you do yes oh that's something i gotta worry about constantly that's your problem and maybe something you shouldn't like just transmit to the internet so the police can look it up later no it's fine they won't find me you sure yeah hmm what's your phone number again oh it's area code beep 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 uh, five, four, beep, 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 beep. Huh. I'm sure they can decode that. Uh, definitely. You're definitely saying the real numbers underneath each beep? Yeah, I was. Yeah. I hope you, like, blurred out all of them, didn't leave out a clue as to what my <laughs> number might be. I'll just, I'll just, like, blurt out what you said and then, like, actually get your recording of your actual phone number yeah. and just put it in over that. Um, but, you yeah, know, so basically, due to legal reasons, that studio dropped it obviously and then a different studio picked it up okay and that was like during covid so uh yeah covid ruined everything like yeah everything yeah apparently the re-zero animation was slightly off and it made someone go on a tirade over it on twitter i <laughs> that still remember was great. that that was great i still remember like the animation's so different and like side by side yeah it's a little different I mean, they were working from home, so it's yeah. Like I was watching a a dub of a show that was getting released weekly. Yeah, and one of the characters, she sounded like she was literally recording mm. in a cardboard box. Yeah, it's horrible, and everybody was complaining about it. I'm just like, they're literally doing it from home. Do you expect them all to have like high tech audio equipment? Voice at actors home? aren't paid that much, or even. Do you expect them to have the soundproofing yeah. at home? Like, come on. Especially when it's just on the spot, like, we need to record from home now. Like, exactly, and it's, it's not, a weekly dub. Yeah, it's not something quickly just ready up. Yeah, exactly. Like, especially if you don't really know too much what you're doing. And it's not like you're going to get multiple takes yeah. per line. Like, you probably get, like, two or three at max. Yeah. 
depending on how quickly they have to do this or how much like lead time. Because you got to get it out before the next episode comes out. Yeah, I do hear with Funimation simul dubs that they get to see the episodes a little bit in advance so they okay. can plan it out better. But I don't know. personally, you never know. I don't really like simul dubs for the simple fact that I think that this is something that they should take their time on when it comes to voice acting. Simul dubs definitely feel drier. Yeah, like they don't have that character acting I as most dubs should that's my biggest issue with like over in japan they actually have live openings for people to try out yeah. voices and stuff over here it's a very closed group yeah yep. and i don't like it because like people are just being assigned roles they're not being given options for roles and that was one thing i definitely liked about high school and really a lot of animes like high school you can tell that they're having fun they're yeah, enjoying it exactly. and they're putting their all into it and I watch other shows, and I'm like, this guy doesn't want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> He's just doing it just to do it. Well, I see, I do see newer voice actors getting into the anime scene. Yeah. Like, I see it all the time where they get their first role, or they get their first main role. What I'm excited for, and I'm hoping this will eventually happen, is, like, you know the big boon of VTubers, right? Mm -hmm. And basically what they're doing is they're just live streaming a anime character yeah in front of thousands of people yeah i hope that eventually translates over to them getting jobs in the actual anime industry mm -hmm. like people actually like seeking them out and like you are really good at like voicing this character can mm -hmm. we see what you'd be like voicing in an anime yeah like i hope that happens that's fair well, like i said i just, i want open au open not open auctions <laughs> <laughs> i want open roles that way like let's say well it'd be kind of like an auction that way because people would be fair. bidding for roles yeah and, but like, let's say, uh, for example, I want to play Issei Hyodo in season five. I'm gonna audition. And I was like, real, I just borrow this mic setup you got here for a few days, and I enclose myself in a room that doesn't echo. I'm like, something about breast. <laughs> How come I feel like you just like lock yourselves yourself in like a cement box and just like record for three days just make sure that no sign sound gets out it's yeah. perfect my isei hyoto voice <laughs> we just open it up and you're just literally singing the opai song to yourself opai. and she's like wow this guy like perfectly english dubbed this he sounds exactly like the original voice actor all right i think we got a winner here all you got in the metal cubicle is a computer that's completely silent a monitor that just plays dxd and then the that's mic. all it does that way i remember not even just the entire things just isei's parts that yeah, way it I literally just cut his voice. all of his just his voice yeah and you guys open the box i'm like do you guys have any opi for me <laughs> <laughs> uh that'd be funny the bigger the better which is a completely against my views <laughs> actually not gonna lie <laughs> I, I kinda... uh, we don't we don't have to talk about that at all Whatsoever. Not this no. Not this we episode. can say that maybe. It's episode 69. For episode 69. Episode 69. Let's go. We're four episodes away. That episode is totally going to be rated explicit. More than likely. Unless uh, Weez's sweet little ears get back in here. Probably. Then it's going to be rated R. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time Weez, is it? Weez just has to cover yeah. his ears whenever we talk. <laughs> we just have to like... Like, turn down his volume every single time we say a joke. Yeah. And he's like, oh, what what, what happened? I didn't no, hear we that. Got it. No, instead of that, we'd have to hook his, we gotta get two, like a split cable, hook one to a beep button. <laughs> that way, whenever uh, we're about to say something, we just press it. And then he's just like, stares off in the distance as the beep overtakes his mind. And we let go and we're like, so, uh, yeah, anyway, about this anime. And he's like, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you like most about it, Weez? I. Uh, the sword fights are great. And he's like, okay, beep. Anyway, about how the woman looks in this shot here. <laughs> he's like, huh. Uh, now we're going to talk about Ishiko reviewers. Beep. Ishiko reviewers? Yeah, Ishiko, the different species reviewers. It's called like Ishiko, Ishioko or something, isn't it? The American name is Interspecies Reviewers. Yeah, those are like the Japanese name, like Ishioka. I something, don't something. know. That's right. Anyway, can we go to break? I actually got to pee. I'm starting to bounce my chair. <laughs> sure, we can go to break. All right. I want to go to break a bit ago, but then I started rambling, uh, okay. and now my pee's overtaking me. So yeah, we're going to go to break, and then we'll talk about uh, some anime and stuff. All right, anime and stuff. Let's go, Ed. So, so you're going to do the introduction this time, then, since we deleted the last one? Well, not anymore. Oh. That's Hi. Funny. 
Hi. How you doing? You said the introduction. I did. No, said hi. No, where did we just come back from? Where did we just come from? Botswana. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had to free the Mor- the, the Moroccans? imprisoned Moroccans. Yeah, the Moroccans. Ah, I see. Yeah, I see. So yes. We freed them and we came back. You know, just a normal normal day for Baka Talk Studios, you know, just yeah, freeing you, you the told poor. Me, yeah, normal day. You told me you had to go pee. And then we ended up in a 12-hour flight to Botswana, yeah. where we t- stayed for 12 weeks in this insurgency camp. Hey, you gotta shoot firearms at people that were bad. What more can you ask? Less mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah. You, did he get tested for the Zika virus, by the way? Zika what? Yeah, you don't want to get tested. Oh, Lord, I'm going to die. There's, yeah, those mosquitoes. Carry, that's why I was wearing like three layers of clothing, despite it being really hot. Oh, that's why you told me not to wear shorts in the tank top. Yeah, that and the fact that you're so white, you didn't blend it all with the <laughs> The flora. jungle floral. Yeah. It ain't my fault I got sunburnt and I was redder than a tomato. I still don't know how you got sunburnt surrounded by a dense forest. Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. But maybe. on the bright side, that Jaguar was following us mainly because you smelled like you were cooking. I did look like a well-done steak. <laughs> you did, yeah. The Jaguar thought so too. How to save you from that? I thought that's what the camp was for. No, the camp was to save people from the... Was to save the Moroccans. Oh. Whoops. Instead, he led the Jaguar to them. Oh. Yeah. I think I failed this mission of Far Cry. <laughs> no, we saved one person. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, he's 80, but we saved him. <laughs> <laughs> he was too well done for the tiger. <laughs> I, I guess. But we huh. we saved someone. Well, now that we're done with our uh, safari. You can always try Botswana, next week. Uh, we should talk about anime. We should, yes. So seeing that it's been about a year since we last recorded. Yeah, it has been a year since we last recorded. What's new that's happened with you? Um, Well, I am hopefully looking into getting a house, actually. Wow. Yeah. 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 Before, you were a lazy bum. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I just lived with my mom and papa. Got chicken nuggies for free. Yeah. Now I'm going to be eating soup out of a can. (laughs) Join the rest of us. Just, I'll have a fire in the middle of my house, just... Just Cooking literally burning right on the floor. Oh uh, yeah, and just you know, I got a stick stab through a can as I'm cooking it, <laughs> getting it nice and toasty. I have for my soup with the shell on. Thank you very much. You don't. You didn't even carve the stick. It's just literally no, got just the leaves in. and stuff on yeah. it still. Just broke it off the tree. Just jam it in the can, roasting over the fire. Now. There you go. And that'll be my Valentine's. I'll call the hospital for you when the can explodes. No, I'll eat it. The can. Yeah. I like my soup with a shell on, like I said. Ah. I should have left you down in Botswana. What do you mean? They taught me various ways of how to cook a can. <laughs> true, true. All right, what else has happened with you? Are you watching any anime? I, I finished Ari Furuta, uh, both the... So there's 13 episodes, technically 14. Oh, so it's not very long. No. It still somehow managed to cover like four books, though. Which I'm a little iffy on because I felt like they cut they cut a lot of stuff out. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Yeah, especially when they start doing more than like maybe two books, that's really pushing it. I really liked the show and it felt like they rushed a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, at least they did a good job. Then some people do a horrible job and just rush it way too quickly. They did pretty good, I will say. From as much as they cut, it still wasn't as. I mean, I don't know because I've read the book, so I don't know if it just wasn't convoluting because I read the book or if it just wasn't convoluting for the sake of not being convoluting. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. Okay. That's good. It was all right. Um, I watched it in dubbed except for the special episodes, which were in subbed. Sub and only. I realized that I like the subbed more than the dubbed. Oof. So you watched the whole show in dubbed and then realized you were screwed over basically yeah but i'm gonna keep watching the dub because the main voice actor for hajime is a voice actor i like he's played multiple other characters i like nice uh like i think he plays dazai i'm not positive but i think that's one of them that he plays dazai dazai sounds familiar. from boom goes to your dog oh yeah but i like his i like his voice actor nice so i'll probably keep on watching it mainly because that the one for uh ua is also i like that one mm-hmm. uh, i think the main thing that bugs me when it comes to the dubbed is how they 
pronounce certain names. Can't be no worse than what I do. That's debatable. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to, especially since people aren't, that's another re- issue I have with uh, them not casting. It feels like when they don't cast and they throw someone in, they yeah. don't take as much mm-hmm. time to learn the names and the pronunciation. Right. So it really upsets me because like, they're over like, hey, you are. And I'm like, it's you, eh? Or like, hey, Hajimo Nagume. It's Hajime Nagumo. Uh, Completely different. Yeah. And it's like, at least you got Shia right, except for that's an American name that's not hard to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, that was basically my biggest issue with it. Like, I watch a sub and like, hey, look, they're actually getting all the names right. Hey, look, the people there screaming sound like they're actually screaming instead of trying to quietly yell into the microphone. Yeah, so they don't peek it. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. Lately, I have been doing... If I watch an anime, I... Usually we'll watch one episode subbed, or I'll watch like the beginning of one episode subbed, mm-hmm. and then I'll watch the same part dubbed, so that way I can tell like what's the difference, like what's the quality between each of them, and then if the dub sounds as good mm-hmm. or a little bit better to my liking, then I'll watch it. But if not, then I'll just go subbed, or I'll see if. Like, how American the anime is. Yeah. Because, like, there's certain animes, like... Uh, Bacchano. Bacchano. Uh, Black Lagoon. Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess Yu-Gi-Oh, kind of. Man, you cannot be uh, Joy Wheeler's Boston accent. Come on. There's also, like, Blood Blackade, Battlefront. Come on, you get, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. They're all set in, like, America settings. So yeah. It makes sense to have them be American, in a way, because it's all American names and stuff. But... All in all, for me, it depends... I mainly just watch dubbed in general, um, unless for some reason, like for example, with JoJo or with Steins Gate, where they do uh, puns. Yeah. Because yep. personally, while I'm okay with reading, I'd prefer to just watch the show. Same. I mean, for me, it's just simpler for my brain to be able to relax and watch it instead of having to yeah. try to translate it because dyslexia and crap. The only time where I really stick with it is like if. Like, now that I've started uh, ReZero and subbed, because there wasn't a dubbed, because it wasn't that popular before, yeah. I can't go too dubbed. Seeing the dub for ReZero, I think, is really good. I I know it's good. I've watched it, because my aunt can't watch subbed. She can only watch dubbed. Okay. Because she's dyslexic like you. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Um, not, not sorry to the offending you. Sorry about <laughs> me burping. Just want to clarify. No, I mean, you know, I know what you're saying. But for yeah. me... I'm actually really lucky because either through years of, like, practice, I have trained myself to basically, like, be able to read fairly well. I can mm. read fairly well. It's just when things get going fast. Yeah. That's when I have problems. Or if somebody's, like, in Steins Gate, mm. I can't comprehend Steins Gate too well because there's so much dialogue right after another. There's mm. no break for my brain. Yeah. That's the problem. I, I get I have, that, so. yeah. Um, so I have it much easier than a lot of people with dyslexia. Yeah, that, so. that's that's good. my aunt couldn't watch subbed at all. Yeah, it was dubbed or nothing because she it just. So I was like, okay, uh, we'll watch re, uh, re zero episode one and see what she and see what, Yeah, um, I thought she, I think she thought it was okay. I don't know. It was a few years back. Episode one is rough. It is. Like you almost like have to watch minutes. episode one in two. Yeah. I know it's like an hour. Hour 20. The first episode is about 45 minutes. Yeah, so like adding two, that's about an hour 20. So yeah. it's a pretty long, that's basically watching a movie. But you really have to watch the two episodes to get a feel for what's going on. Yeah. So if you watch episode one, it's kind of rough. It is. Because episode one kind of like drops you down and then episode one and two start explaining stuff. Yeah, you. yep. But so no. That's um, why I really always suggest the three episode rule. Like yeah. watch three episodes and then see what you think. Like... Don't watch episode one and then say it's trash, because episode one is usually either expedition explanation dump, mm-hmm. or like just really slow in general. Yeah, I don't know. Usually when I watch the first three episodes, even if I don't really like it, I usually just stick with it. Only one I haven't been able to do that with is just Evangelion. I honestly don't know why. I just I honestly can't. It's just the penguin gets me. Hey, that's and everything fine. Else. I will try. One day I will get there. I promise you. You do what you want to do. I'm not going to be one of those people where you ha- where I say, you have to watch Evangelion because it's God's 
gift to all enemy fans. Like, no, it's I, it's a it's an old show that people enjoy. Some people enjoy, mm-hmm. and some people hate. It's like every other anime. It's not the gold standard of anime. There's actually mm-hmm. a lot of problems with Evangelion. Yeah, it's just. One thing I don't like is when people just say, I hate Evangelion and it's bad because they're like, oh, I just like hear it's bad. On the bright side, I explain it to you. I just, the thing, reason I find it bad, I just can't get over it. I'm yeah, trying whatever. to. Because I, I don't know. I, it's like a challenge to myself. Like, can I withstand not liking this enough to actually watch the show? Yeah. Like, it's a self challenge that okay. I'm trying to get through. Huh. So I'll get through eventually. I don't know. I feel like you would enjoy the rebuilds way more i wouldn't be able to watch rebuilds without uh watching the first season you could you could i, I wouldn't let myself ah uh, yeah, it's sense. i i gotta when it comes to me if i haven't watched the first Series, of something yeah i'm not gonna watch i'm not just gonna skip i like going in continental order well maybe this will help you watch the first series if you watch the first series you would be able to enjoy the rebuilds and they're pretty good it's like a possibility of enjoying the rebuilds i think you would one the Penguin is hardly in it. Good. I think he's in it. Because these are movies, right? Yeah. So they're not like as story focused. Like it's not in depth as sto- of story. Yeah. They basically say, they basically think that to themselves like, hey, all the Evangelion fans have watched the first series. So we can just like go through the first series really quick in rebuild form, in movie form, and then continue our story as like the last two movies. You know, because you're saying this, I bet you the first two rebuilds are just going to be about the penguin. No. <laughs> it's just going to be the penguin. No. I seriously he think there's the like now. five scenes with the penguin in it. It's like 30 second scenes at most. Okay. It's all like in the apartment where the penguin is, so. Nope. There's one scene after a big event happens where you see the penguin for some reason in a in the ocean with a couple other penguins. As long as I get the timestamps so I can skip from here to there. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll watch them with you, and I'll close. I'll cover your ears and close your eyes whenever the penguin comes on. All right, I'll be like that overbearing parent that just like covers your eyes every single time like a kissing scene happens in a movie. I honestly really don't know what what it's with me and the penguin. I don't know. Like I just don't like so, that penguin. I don't know why. Is it because it's a penguin? No, I've got no issue with penguins. Okay, so you have no issues with penguins. So that's one thing that's done. Is it because it's a pet? Why would I have an issue with pets? I don't know. We're trying to figure this out. We're being we're being all right, scientists all right. right now. Is it because they talk to it like it's a real person? That might be part of it. Okay. Was it because the first scene you see it and it got done taking a shower? That is also part of it, yes. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Oh, my laptop. My keyboard just turned yes, on. Yes, your laptop just we're, turned on. It just turned on. We got an idea here. All right. All right cool. So, is it because it was used to censor... Naked people. That too, yes. The okay, fact- we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> and then it proceeded to live in a freezer. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. why you don't like the penguin. Yeah, it's just, it makes yeah. so, you know what? The fact that it just has brains in general doesn't make sense. Because you know what they do to penguins in Antarctica? No. They literally blow a trumpet and the penguins gather to the noise. Then they take a penguin, beat it to death, eat it while the other penguins are still watching and then the penguins waddle away what yeah then who the, does this the the eskimos and stuff down there oh and then, oh and that then the, makes way too much sense the next day they blow the horn again penguins waddle over one of them gets clubbed eaten they waddle away my god the day after that the same <laughs> thing happens i can see why you don't like penguins like it's not that i don't like them they're they're okay they're the babies are cute it's just, I don't know, it just, it disturbs me that in Evangelion, there's a penguin that's smart for some reason. The eyebrows really get me. Like, just thinking about it, the way they have that macaroni penguin depicted just irritates me. Yeah, it's a very, eh, I don't know. Pen Pen is just, nah. Is that his I name, didn't even Pen-Pen? enjoy, Pen- yeah, his name's Pen Pen. <laughs> I think it's Pen Pen 2. Why 2? Why I don't the fir- know. They clubbed the first one. They death. clubbed <laughs> They played the trumpet. Well, maybe, maybe. So how she got the penguin is her family used to do research in the Antarctic. Yeah. And then the apocalypse happened. And she was the last one that survived in the facility. Like, 
all like all the ice and snow melted. It's just like a giant ocean, and she was saved in like this life pod. Mm. But the penguin was with her. Mm. Maybe there's two penguins. <laughs> Yeah. She named one Pen Pen 1 and Pen Pen 2 and she had to club the first one. Yeah. <laughs> she used Pen Pen 2 to club the first one. And that's why Pen Pen 2 lives in a freezer now. Because he's terrified. Yes. <laughs> and he locks himself away. Man. There is so much deep lore to Evangelion. And she's just preparing to eat Pen Pen number 2. <laughs> she's so- a drunk now. And a sex addict. Yeah. Those aren't good combinations. When no, you have they're not. Around. Uh, that's another thing that got me with even it's like she's a nympho but a drunk and it's like man you're staying with a 16 year old kid. calm down <laughs> yeah it's kind of part of the part of the thing which is disturbing but it makes for an interesting like story like nothing happens yeah much happens but like it's all about each and individual character has their own flaws and like the story is mainly about them getting over their flaws and how to change themselves. Yeah. Cause really even Gillian, the deep down meaning of it is, are you willing to change yourself? I am, are you willing to like, stop worrying about how people think of you and yeah. change yourself so that way you're happy. I'm all for a psychological anime. Like I like rising on shield hero. Uh, yeah. That's part of our Frodo. Basically the kid, he uh, falls down in dungeon. Cause one of his peers shoots a firebolt at him. And Ooh. so he falls down and gets hurt. And he falls down like one of the deepest layers, uh, and then his arm gets ripped off by a Wait, bear. Wait, is Are Furuta just? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? No. Oh, that's a different one. Okay. Yeah. See, I have a hard time when you say the Japanese name because I'm so used to doing the English names. So, so. the is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's Don Machi. Don Machi. Okay. Auto I know Furuta. you've said it said it before, but I just got confused. Yeah. Auto Furuta is the one I just finished. The yeah. One that I the guy I cosplayed as. Yep. So Hagami Nagumo, he uh, falls down the cliff because he got shot at by his one of his peers, and a bear like eats his arm off, and like he's terrified, but he's like, I'm gonna survive. I don't care anymore. And he goes from like this uh, nice guy to I'm gonna kill anything and everything I see. Ah. Oh. And then like in the book, he has to come to terms with. Maybe I should stop killing anything and everything I see. Because, <laughs> like, there, he, like, he saw one of his classmates, and his classmate turns, like, basically turns on him. He's like, yeah, you're dead. Ooh. And, like, so it's kind of like one of those re- revenge plot animes. Not really. He doesn't want revenge. He does not care about revenge. Oh. At all. It's okay. just anyone that stops him, he kills. Okay. And the person tried to stop him by harming his teacher, who he felt like he owed. So he's kind of like an anti hero? The he's, anti-protagonist he's type kind, of thing? Basically, yeah. And like everyone's like, you're going to defeat the gods. He's like, no, I'm not, unless they get in my way. And the gods are like, we're going to get in his way. <laughs> and then he becomes Kratos. Yeah, basically. Like he's going around because uh, he wants to get back to his real world. So he's collecting all the ancient magics. Okay. Uh, the gods, at least in the books, the gods don't like this that much. So they're going to try and stop him. But I he's see. like, you're trying to stop me? Me. <laughs> the guy who made a gun in your world. The guy who invented the rail gun. The guy who made the bunker buster. <laughs> I don't think so, mister. I kind of really want to watch this anime now. What's it called again? Arifuruta. Arifuruta. Yeah, I, I can tell you how to spell it because I know you probably <laughs> won't be able to. You know me way too well. All right. A R I F U. Whoa, there, buddy. R E T A. Let's get me that top one there. Ah. Uh. You don't have to say F you, thank you very much. That's so mean. Hey, man. It's oh, right. this looks amazing. He's got an eye patch. Yeah. Oh, is that the demon lord? No. That's the demon lord. No, right? that's a dragon lady. Oh. That that small blonde haired girl, she's Yui. She's the vampire girl. She's adorable. Aw. Yeah. So her name's. Oh, Yui? This yeah. one's. Right? Yeah. So Yui. who's this? That's a dragon lady? Uh, What's her name? I can't see from here. Clarence Teal? Yeah, that that's the dragon lady. Nice. She's a masochist because uh, their ex- her experience with uh, Hajime is basically she's a dragon and she's got super tough scales and they finally bring her down. He's like, there's only one way you can kill a dragon. If you're going to kill a dragon, shove something in its ass. And then he like, proceeds to take a big stick and shove it up there like a metal rod, not a stick. And then all of a sudden it screams out in a woman's voice is like, what's going on? <laughs> My God. Because <laughs> he didn't expect it to talk. <laughs> And, like, the cl- his classmates are, like, standing around, like, what? And, like, he's just, like, I don't understand this. And she's, like, that feels kind of good, but please stop. He's, like, what? 
Thank so you. this is definitely not a children's anime. Once you hit episode seven, it's no longer a kid's film. <laughs> episode seven. So you can show your toddler all the way up to episode six. Yeah. Okay. Good no, to no. know. And then he's like, give me information. She's like, no. So he's like, all right. And proceeds to punch it in deeper. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, okay, fine, I will. Just take it out of me. Why? My man is almost dead, and when I transform, this thing is going to just obliterate me. He's like, I'll think about it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. That's disturbing. Yeah, I found it hilarious, because I remember the scene in the novel. And I'm like, <laughs> this is a novel for. So the synonym for the alternate title is From Common Job Class to My Strongest. To the strongest in the world. Yeah. And the English name from this is Arifura from Commonplace to World's Strongest. Okay. Yeah, because he starts out as someone who's basically... I drop this? What the heck? Everyone what? except for um him got really cool powers. He's got transmutation. Oh. Uh, but however, transmutation ended up helping him a lot. So wait a second. This is just basically redo of healer? I mean, this came out beforehand. I'm pretty sure. So this is just the OG... Redo of a healer? Yeah, except for um, he wasn't. A, he's not a healer. He's a transmutation, so he can. Which like, is basically what they do with the redo of healer character. If you think about it, he just like transmutes anything. Yeah, but that's what his healing. His healing magic is kind of weird and OP in that world. In this, it's stupid. Yeah, I, I can agree with you there. But in sorry, in this, he just has transmutation. It's just he one day he basically when his arm gets ripped <laughs> off, he ends up transmuting him way, and he finds like a holy water thing because uh-huh. there's this thing that takes uh, residue mana and accumulates it into a ball of mana and then the water it puts out will heal anything okay so like that's how he didn't die from getting his arm ripped off and then like he proceeded to make a trap because he needed food uh-huh he didn't know that you're not supposed to eat monster meat because if a person eats monster meat they die Oh. Because, like, the monster meat will, like, mutate your body to the point where it's so painful you'll die. Oh, okay. So, like, he kills one of the wolf monsters and drags it up out of the hole and eats it. Then he gets, starts getting the pain. And he falls face first into the puddle of the holy water that he's accumulated. And his body, like, just transforms. Like, uh, this is one part of the anime that I didn't like compared to the book. The book explained it very well. And it was, like... Yeah, no, so I just sat there in uh, the puddle uh, in excruciating pain. I'd black out, be awake, black out again, wake. It, this went on for a few days. Yeah. It's the simplified version of that. Uh, it, it was pretty detailed in the book. And then in the anime, it's just like, well, he's going to fall in the water here, and the next scene is going to be him being totally OP. Right, okay. And I was like, man, the book definitely better. <laughs> so is there a manga version of this? Yes, there is. Okay. I have to read the manga. There is a manga cool. version of this. It's pretty all right. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Well, I think that's about it for today. Yeah. So we discussed think, my hate of penguins and my like for psychological. I think we got anime. somewhere. I think somewhere. Um. So that'll be about five hundred dollars for your therapy session. What? What do you mean? You yep. were, it was your therapy session. What? Yeah. You, this is a thousand dollars for your therapy session. Thousand? You know? How about this? We'll call it even. I give you the five hundred. You give me fifteen hundred. We're good. How about this? I'll give you five hundred. You give me two hundred. And then we'll be good. All right. Frick, I'm still losing 300, 200. please. <laughs> well, come on, where's my 300? Are you going to hand it over? I'll give it to you later. Do I got to get the Persuader? No. Okay. I have the Persuader. No, you don't. Not here. Yeah, exactly. It's currently at my house, my parents' house, because for some reason, I'm not supposed to have a sledgehammer in this apartment. It's all right. I got a Persuader myself. Do you? Yeah. Is it a sledgehammer? No. Oh. I mean, some people have called it that, but it's not that. The only reason I call my sledgehammer the persuader is because, like, whenever we're doing demo, yeah. or the mo- the thing that we used a sledgehammer the most in construction is when we built the wall in framing, right? Yeah. And we realized that the wall is actually three inches from where it should be. Yeah. We take the persuader and whack it over that three inches. See, that's what we do in the tire industry. Uh, when there's a tire that's stubborn, we take what we call trooper. Trooper. And we persuade the tire off the vehicle yep. gently. Yep. I have done that to many a walls with my persuader. Just yeah. Go right at it. The reason why we call them trooper is because of the handle says trooper. Oh, nice. So. I just call mine the persuader because it's just like... Uh... No, what happened is we were destroying this um, cement step section... Mm-hmm. 
and like we were using a jackhammer and stuff but there's this one spot that was like really <laughs> stuck and it was yeah. just like right on the corner where the jackhammer couldn't really get to it. Yeah. One of my co coworkers was joking. He said, "I need the, pr- I need to like persuade this piece." So yeah. I'm like, "Oh, here's a persuader." That's what I just named after that. Boom, Chan, hand me thy persuader. <laughs> <laughs> the anime like glow of the weapon just happens. Here you are, father. Take thy persuader. Watch. He has been persuaded. I have used thy persuader to persuade this almighty earth. What does the persuader mold usually persuade you to do? Uh, usually persuades you to go to the afterlife. <laughs> Normally. Nine times out of ten. <laughs> it's got a 95% successful rate. I hope. You better hope you're not in that 5%. Because <laughs> it's going to be really painful for you for the next like, down, a week or two. It'll persuade you definitely to go in the afterlife after that, though, if you end up in the 5%. Oh, it's yeah. it's going to persuade you either way. It's just yeah. You hope you're in the 5% that... It's like you're in the, the 95% that it, gets instantly persuaded. Yeah, it's like the long way or the short way. You kind of want the short way. Definitely want the short way. Anyways, now that I admitted to homicide... Multiple times. Probably end this. Yeah, we probably should, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you, you're you the host. You sign off. You take it away. Let's go. I almost did it because I forgot. Well, yeah, I was taking a breath. Yeah. <laughs> and then you were just about to start talking and babbling. Well, I was breathing. Thank you very That's much. That's just normal life. True. Anyways, so Pyrolus, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me Pyrolus2 on Twitter. If I get my lazy rear end around to it eventually, you'll find me at Pyrolus Games or Pyrolus Plays. It's Plays. I forgot the name of my own YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I've been Sir Boom. You can find me on Twitter at SirBoom9. You can also find me on another podcast called Look Behind You where we talk oh. about the paranormal and kind of moving over to more pop culture geek stuff as well. So... More related to paranormal stuff. How is that transition going, by the way? Is it working well? Pretty good so far. That's good. Pretty good so far. We recorded our first episode talking about uh, a horror movie called Antlers. And that was really fun. So That's good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, if you want to contact this podcast, you can contact it through Twitter on by adding TalkBaka. I believe that's how you would do the Twitter lingo. You got to make sure to follow us, then you add us. Right, you have to follow us first. And then you fight me. <laughs> yes, you are the boss of I the, the followers. Fight me. You heard you heard boom, I'm the boss now. You know what else you could do to lower his XP is by liking and subscribing on YouTube. That makes him weaker. It does make me weaker. The I YouTube gods you. like hinder his strength. No, don't give them my weakness. No, the, no, not the censoring. Stop censoring me. I, I don't need the censorship. Leave me out of this. But if some of you want to make him stronger, you can email us your power ups through talk or uh Ask Bakatalk at gmail.com. My power ups are mainly uh, crude jokes and slurs. And also cat girls. And cat girls. Mainly fox girls. Just send, send me Are you girls. now a fox girl I've guy? I've been a fox girl guy. No. I've said this multiple times. You, go you, back. Go back through the podcast. I don't want to you go through back find, all that crap. You will find me saying I prefer fox girls over cat girls multiple times. You know what? It's the end of the show. I'm not going to argue with you. We're having this argument next episode. Next episode. We're talking we can about have this Fox argument. Girls. Maybe Weeze will be back by then. After yeah. his lawsuit and he prefers ant court girls. hearings. Ant girl? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. does that count as an ant or a cat? It's an ant. But it's got cat ears and a tail. But it's an ant. It's biologically an ant. It's made by an ant. It's an ant. I make it simple. I just like raccoon girls. If you put a water in a cup, is it water? Or is it a cup now? All I know is it's moist. Exactly. Yeah. That's what she said. All right, we can go. <laughs> so, with that, we have been Talk Baka, and we'll see you all on the other side. And Deb. <laughs> Janya. Janya.